Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to do a super quick edit of this image using the LSP Outdoor Collection, the Lemon Sky Collection for Photoshop. For a more in-depth um, tutorial of how to use these actions, please do visit the website and watch video number one. So I'm going to start with the Lemon Sky Signature Base here. This will allow me to lift and tone the image super fast. The bases are non-destructive to the background layer, they set up loads of layers on top. They take a little while to run, but for the amount of um, kind of automated actions they provide, they're definitely worth it. So because I don't want too much going on with this image, I'm just going to turn these down or off. And I'm literally going through deciding uh, where I want these to show. Definitely want the image more vibrant, but perhaps not quite as vibrant as it had it. warm the skin up a touch but I can go back in and do the skin edits in a minute so it's before and after I'm using these on button mode so I can just kind of click as I go brighten up the face a little bit I'm on the brush section now for the skin tones a little contour contrast I think although it's darkening the shadows down a little bit there are a lot of real darks in this image I've got to be a little bit careful not to lose too much I think I'm going to go for a pinky skin toner in this one and she is very pale Personally for me, this is a little much, so I'm just going to take it down to about there, and then play a skin foundation. So I'm just going to paint this on, avoiding the eyes. And talking of the eyes, I'm going to come here and I'm going to play eyelashes, liner and brows. So help me to pick those eyes out a little bit. I think I'm going to come to the colour section here and just play, um, remove the reds as well because there's a little bit of red going on around the eyes there. So I'm just going to use this one to take those reds down, just on the eyes, and then here to the eyeliner brush. dual iris colour will help me uh, really pop these eyes and I think I'll probably pay uh, catch light enhance as well catch light highlight and just to really pick out those natural highlights there in the eyes Add a little bit more lip colour if it's too strong, depends on your image. You can take it down, but this one it was a little strong. A little bit of cheek blush, too. Oh, it's my fault there, sorry. That will not happen on your version. <laughs> Turn that one on or off. Adding a little bit more toning in there to the face. Always turn on or off to make sure you're happy with the result. Totally non-destructive to your background. Talking about background, now I'm really going to start picking that out. I might just brighten up the face just a touch. Or maybe actually a little bit of contour contrast. The beauty of these is you can kind of play them and play them over and over until you're happy. You can try a few different things out. I'm going to 
come down here I think I'm going to play some haze I love the haze I'm a little bit addicted to it this plays out and it will allow you to drag what you want so you can have a little bit you can have kind of full-blown haze hit OK the action will play out and then you can change the color and the toning so at the moment it's kind of a peachy color I'm going to cool right down and I'm also going to turn the opacity right down too let's just haze down the background a little I'm going to darken the background down by playing the darken one click finish here but by painting off my subject because I still want her to be nice and bright now I can turn this up a little I'm going to paint this off here too Then we have some finishes. Um, I'm really quite happy with how this image is looking. I'm not sure I'm going to put a finisher on. That was before, uh, sorry, before here where I cropped. Let me just snapshot that one there. And after. So that's before, before we used the base. And after there, which, so I'm really quite happy with that. But if you wanted, you could use some of the signature washes and creative finishing section here. For example, we could try Golden Hour. This one really does do what it says on the tin. It's great for kind of the more autumnal images like this one. And then you can slide the opacity to suit. So it just adds that really kind of golden warmth to the image there. That's using the LSP Outdoor Collection, the Lemon Sky Outdoor Collection for Photoshop. Before and after. And that set is available at www.lsp-actions.com. <laughs>